So, first the things you need. A pneumatic switch, a glue with two components, a brush for a drill or a toothbrush, it doesn't matter. A 4mm drill or it can also be a bit thicker or thinner. A 2mm drill. A cutter and two exacto knives. A 320 grit sandpaper. A drill. A degreaser and a silicone spray. A cloth or an old t shirt. A clamp and a tooth brick. And two wooden pieces. One of them I drilled three holes so that the switch fits perfectly in it. It's for the regluing. The opening is the most tricky part of the whole modification, so take time and do this carefully and very precisely. So you take the cutter and cut along the lines on the back side. Normally it clicks two times. First time and second time. Then you re release the glue there. The same is for the line on the downside. Should click there and There. But if it doesn't click, you cut and cut and cut along the lines until you think you released all the glue. This sometimes needs about 10 minutes, but when you're very luckily only one minute, very different just cut along the lines until you're pleased with the switch to go on now I'm happy enough with this step and I'm going on Take the switch and the exacto knife with the pointed blade and also the two wooden pieces to clamp the switch between a wise until it's not moving anymore. Don't clamp too much because we don't want to damage the switch. When you're ready, take the knife and stick it into the switch so that you can cut through the axle which connects the back plate with the switch body and do this very very carefully and 
don't use much force because in this step you could seriously damage your switch. You may can see in the video that when the knife is in the switch that the backplate bends. And what you're gonna do in this step is cutting through the axle with very low pressure to, uh, on the knife to the axle. This time I was very very lucky because I cut through it after more or less one minute but it also could need 10 minutes or even more and when you did it you press the knife against both sides of the switch and try to remove the back plate a bit from the switch body At the end of this step, you should be able to lift the back plate a little bit up with only your fingers. Now you will finally remove the back plate. You take the exacto knife with the round blade, stick it into the switch, and bend it. You see the back plate comes apart a little bit. Do this very carefully because there's a high chance that you cut yourself and we don't want this. If you think there is some glue which you didn't release then take the cutter again and cut through the lines again sometimes this helps a lot you could need about 20 minutes for it because the plastic is very tough but you also could only need about don't know two minutes depends on the switch now see it comes apart a bit more and with the time it will come apart more and more at any time it will just click and one side is removed completely until then you can could also take your fingers to remove the rest of the back plate but you could also go on with the knife <laughs> 